king of the empire or should I say queen of the empire since well Tira is technically sitting in the throne of the emperor Eh, whatever you get the point hey guys this is flash Dream double zero and welcome back to let's play final fantasy 6 in the last episode well we sat down and had some dinner with our fellow emperor and somehow we ended up agreeing that you know we'd help him out by making our way to Albrook to well do some stuff but you get the point all right let's get out of this place uh, hey how's it going we didn't have to do a thing it looks like the empire destroyed itself for us that is actually true oh well so anyway guys I'm gonna head off to um, an area First, I'm not gonna actually proceed in the story yet, but you'll see when I get there. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I think I should do some equipment changes here. Uh, flame tongue. I'm gonna have to disagree with that since, well, the assassin's dagger has a higher uh, speed frequency. Yeah, there really isn't anything for me to change here. I'd go with the golden helm, but yeah, I don't want my evasion is that to actually go down it's better it's actually better if you uh, don't take damage rather than taking damage of course see this town over here this is where you're supposed to go to proceed with the story but not now because well I want to get some stuff first uh, in the Imperial observation post oh crap this is not what I wanted a zombie dragon jeez the zombie dragon is an undead enemy, so you can actually cast holy spells such as Cure and Cura to actually harm him. But I'm just gonna go with Blizzaga since well these guys are desert enemies and you know you full well know that blizzard I mean desert enemies don't like water or ice. Holy crap, Terra annihilate them in just one spell. But then again, Blizzara uses a lot of MP points, so think about it. Alright, this is where I wanted to go, because, well, I finally discovered that by talking to the Empire at dinner, they agreed to let us go in here. All this treasure is ours! <laughs> yeah, I got a little crazy there, but whatever. Alright, we have 13,000 gil, a reflect ring, 20,000 gil, Hermes sandals, high ether, Angel Wings, which I already got during the auction, X Potion, 8,000 gil, well, some Dragon Ball Z there, Angel Ring, and Alarm Earring. I'm a little disappointed right now because, well, I already have those items, so there's really no point in actually, well, equipping those since I have like two of every relic now. I already got them earlier. I, I got the Angel Ring during the auction earlier, and I got the Angel Ring, yeah. Illegal as well. I even got the alarm earring that you can also get at the Empire if you're actually reluctant enough to actually search through the entire place uh, and actually take a chest. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna give. You already saw what I did. I, I gave uh, Tiro the Herbie sandals because I, I figure, you know, the hero ring doesn't do much. I'd rather go with haste because, well, I love auto haste abilities or auto battle abilities. Yeah, that battle really roughed up my party over there. I'm gonna have to use Cure as well. I don't wanna die. The main thing you do in RPGs is, well, you gotta heal up and proceed on to the next city. Or, well, battle, or you get the point. Okay, let's proceed. Now we can all live in peace. Who would have thought we'd end up allied with the Returners? They said they would be reopening the harbor soon, but soon life will return to normal. Yeah. Well, it is kind of weird, but... They have nothing! Absolutely nothing we can actually buy from here. Of course not. Nah. Oh, this is funny. Now it's us bribing them to let us do business here. <laughs> Sucks for you, dude. Oh, man. They you don't see that happen every now and then. <laughs> like, first off, like, if the Empire is in power, then all of a sudden you're out of power, and you know, now you get to ask them for jobs. <laughs> oh well, 
That's what you call karma. Alright. Wait. I haven't done this in a while, so um, I guess I'll just stop by the inn. Rooms are 300 gil per night. Will we be staying? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. It's only Terra unlocked this time. Thank goodness they have two separate beds instead of one connected to each other. Ooh, you understand what I mean? You don't? Figure it out on yourselves. Alright. Let's go out to the harbor now. This is where you're supposed to go. Hey, how's it going? The, okay. Sorry, I'm discussing our plans with Gerald Lee right now. Yup, 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 look at that guy. Look at that guy, look at him talk. Ah, there you are, another Imperial General and the man I hired in town will be accompanying us as well. I wonder who they might be. Find out now. Let me introduce them, General Celeste and Shadow. <gasps> Celeste? We depart tomorrow. In the meantime, I've arranged lodging for you at the inn. You have to be freaking kidding me. I was just at the inn, right? Like, a minute ago? Uh, say something. And she just runs away. Oh man, please try to get some sleep. I will. I'm working for the Empire, but don't worry, they didn't hire me to kill you. Woof, woof. Hi, Interceptor. Woof, woof. Alright. The thing with Shadow is like, he, he'll kill anything for money. He's an assassin. He even betrays his best friend. If he had one, that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop by here and actually buy the amulet, cause well... Look at that. Poison, darkness, zombie, resistance. I'm gonna buy two of those because, well, you never know when stas elements are gonna be in the game, and you just never know. Alright. General Lear, is there any arrangements for your stay here tonight? By all means, sleep. And of course, they split up again. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. Like, eight hours of sleep for, like, for like the first day and then like you go talk to Leo and that conversation lasts for not even two minutes and all of a sudden you sleep for another eight hours but then again Locke is at night so maybe it's not eight hours but maybe six or four I don't know And she just runs away. <laughs> Sorry, Locke. Sorry to spoil the moment for you there. Alright. After eight hours of sleep, we're finally back and ready to go on with the story. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the thing. I usually get around like eight hours of sleep per night, maybe less. I don't know why, it just happens like I have trouble sleeping with that, but the average teenager has to sleep like around 8 hours a night. I'm just underneath that level. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Just kidding. Sometimes I like to make references to songs, but eh, I shouldn't pull up that song because well, that song has a lot of swear words in it and I don't think my viewers would like to hear that song from me. Yeah, it's kind of clear that the engines are still running smoothly when the ship is still moving around and you don't actually get a man overboard cry or you don't see terror on the boat. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Having trouble sleeping? Uh, yes I am. Sleeping? You have to be kidding me. Another eight hours of sleep? Oh my god. Okay, the first time I went to the town, let me put this straight. I went for eight hours of sleep just to talk to Leo, 
prepare in the morning, talk to him for two minutes about another task, then I go to the inn, sleep again for another eight hours, and get broken up, and Celeste just runs on me, then I have to take another eight hours of sleep, just to prepare for my, our next destination. I'm a little dumbfounded right now. Eight hours of sleep, oh my goodness. Sorry, I can't spoil at the moment there with my rambling. <laughs> Kefka's worse. He's ten times worse. He's a clown. He's he's a madman. Human plus Esper equals Terra. Of course they can. Anyone can love each other. It's your feeling that matters more. Okay. You're still young? Okay, that is kind of true, but you know, in the instruction manual, Tara is actually 18 years old, believe it or not. You probably never knew that. Yeah, she's 18. Most of the Final Fantasy characters in games like these are 17, 18 years old. You wanna know now, what? That means you have to find another man. Fast! I'm kidding. Who's there? Shadow, what the heck have you been up to? What? Yeah, I like doing that sometimes. Sometimes it's not a good idea to sleep in the stars, because well, you never know, you know, people are gonna pass by saying, oh, look at that guy, he's sleeping under the stars. Look at him, he's so weird. Uh, basically, you eavesdropped on us, didn't you, Shadow? Tara, how do you know her name? I, I wonder. Like, since when have anyone, I mean, since when has anyone mentioned her name? I mean, you just, well, maybe that conversation with General Leo, you know, revealed her name to Shadow and he overheard it. Oh my goodness, this cutscene. This is the funniest cutscene I have ever seen in this game. <laughs> Poor Locke. Oh. oh man, he's gonna be seasick. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And Ted and Shadow just leaves. World's greatest treasure hunter reduced to this. <laughs> oh man, this scene cracks me up. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And the boat's still moving. I wonder if he's been barfing all this time. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. I always wonder why do we need a boat when we could have just taken the blackjack to the other side of the continent? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, thanks for restating our objective, Mr. Imperial Soldier. Rumor has it that the lost power of magic can still be found on Cre Crescent Island. Okay, can I talk to Celeste? Move! Rumor has it. Okay, shut up! Can you move? I want to talk to Celeste and Shadow over there. I have to talk to General Leo, of course. Okay, no problem. Alright. Rumor has it. Okay, you shut up. Seriously. Let's go. Shadow! And the and Interceptor. Do you have something to say? Say something, Tara! Guys, say something, comfort her or something. Uh, I... I take it that we finally arrived to our destination. But where are we exactly headed to and... Can we make peace with the espers? Find out next time, let's play Final Fantasy VI! This is Flashroom Double Zero signing off. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day, guys. See you guys then. Goodbye.